good evening guys, gals, non-binary pals, a very warm welcome to another episode of Netflix DVD Extras! Episode 14! Um, thank you so much if you have joined us week after week. We are so grateful to have you with us. And if it's your first time, welcome, bienvenue, welcome in, all of the welcomes and thank yous. And uh, here's, here's how it's going to work. We're going to be using your suggestions that you have laid down into the comments for us to improvise with. I think that sentence made sense. If not, I'm going to say it one more time. You are going to give us suggestions. You do that by putting them in the comments and then we take those suggestions and we use them. So essentially you control what we do within reason. Uh, from your suggestions this evening, as always, we need film characters, movie titles and locations. So get those into the comments for us to use. Bit of wrapping, some scenes, maybe a bit more wrapping, always movie based. Um, but before we get to those suggestions and your comments, I think it's time to bring on the rest of the Netflix gang. Now, it's episode 14, you're probably going, Emily, you can't still have ways to introduce people by using inanimate objects or magical creatures. Well, you would be so unbelievably wrong. Um, today, I've been thinking a lot about snacks. It's that point of lockdown. Um, so today, flavours of crisps. Here we go. Welcome to the digital stage, salt and vinegar, Ailish Duff. She says, come on, Ailish, where are you? <laughs> and while we're waiting for Ailish to join us, um, let's bring on Sweet Chili. It's Ashlyn Gross McEwen. Oh, there she is. There she is. And next. Oh, ah, feeling a bit, a bit spicy. Paprika Claire Buckingham. Oh, oh, that's what paprika makes me feel like. Um, and next, spicy, sweet, barbecue, Emma Reed. Oh, mm. And finally, she couldn't be anything else, it's cheese and onion, Holly Mallet. Vegan cheese and onion. Absolutely correct. Uh, I am, there oh, she is. Oh, Everyone froze. I, I didn't know if you'd introduce me or not so I was like I'm just gonna turn my camera on and find out. <laughs> Thank you Zoom gods for bringing Ailish to us. It is <laughs> three minutes past seven. We're gonna kick your Monday off to um, a great end. Your week off to a good start and we're gonna finish your Monday off right and use your suggestions. We'll get started. I'll stop talking because it seems like that's a problem today. Here we go. We're diving into the comments for Plenty of flicks. You don't need me to explain what that is this week, do you? No, of course you don't. Here we go. Diving into the comments for characters from films. Um, oh, this is relevant. Ellie Sattler, can't say it. Dr. Ellie from Jurassic Park, which I assume is the beautiful woman from the film that we watched on Wednesday. Great. Okay, so Dr. Ellie and then um, Captain Hook and... <laughs> Dracula. <laughs> so, uh, let me get this straight. So, Dr. Ellie and Captain Hook are vying for the attention of Dracula. So, Dr. Ellie from Jurassic Park. Emma, great. Um, and the next one I said was Captain Hook. Great. And, um, and the final one I said was Dracula. Great. And the first episode of Plenty of Flicks begins like this. Well, hello there. It's me, don't look too far. I am your Dracula. I've been on my own for so long. Now I am looking for someone who is very, very good. Who is going to share some blood with me? That's what I like to drink. You can drink it too. What do you think? We could live here in my castle. You can have whatever you ask for. It doesn't matter if you like to drink 
virgin because I'll be here with a virgin. That's right, I like it like that. But you can have it how you want. I'm a bad. If you want, we can do things. I'll show you my very, very cool things. Hey there, Dracula. Dr. Ellie here, and I've got something to say. Yes, some say I'm a bit of a classic cause I know everything about the Jurassic. And I really like that you like the dark. Just come take a walk in my lovely park. Yeah, I think I'm the really best bet cause I can sort of be like a vet. There's so much that I can do and with your pointy fangs. I think we're through. I think we'll have so much love and we'll watch the trackers from above as they fly in the air. Yeah, don't keep me in the dark. Just come take a walk in my lovely Lovely part. Mm, well, I better introduce myself then. I may look aloof, I may look private, but I'm a really badass pirate. That's right, I look so hip, and I'll show you around my pirate ship. I've got a really good hair, good look, and I've also got a massive hook. If you come and play with me, we can sail on the seas. I'll show you a really good time, as long as you're not a crocodile. If you don't come near me with any clocks, maybe I'll show you by massive pirate ship. Mm. Now, now look here, Mr. Mr. Whatever your name is. I'm not sure about that guy called Hook. He just seems like a massive crook, yeah. I think he's a bit of a wino, and wouldn't you wanna come play with a dino? Cause I know they're not really toys, and it's really, really weird that he hangs out with boys, yeah. Yeah, he just doesn't seem to have the time, and who the hell is scared of time? Yeah, he just seems like a massive idiot. He just seems like a massive, when would you like to come and hang with me? Yeah, I promise I'll set you free. Yeah, I'm not some mean no proctor because I'm just a really really nice doctor come on I just think I'm your best bet and yeah I still am a really good vet <laughs> excuse me <clears throat> this lady might like dinosaurs but I can show you some more that's right if you sail with me I'll show you the magic of the sea. And it's really inaccurate to say I like kids. I really don't like them one bit, so I hope that's not a deal breaker for you. Because if you like kids, there's nothing we can do. But I really think that she's the problem. And you and I have so much more in common. That's right, we both enjoy pain. I might not suck blood, but if you're with me, things will never be the same. Well, 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 you're both very interesting, but I have made my decision. I've had a very good look at you, the man who calls himself Hulk. I'm very interested in your ship. I'm kind of invested in it, but there is just one thing. I don't see animals on your swing, but I do in this big Jurassic Park. I think that Ellie, we could have a lot. Oh, yes, we could have a great thing, and you could fix me if I break my wings, because you said that you are a vet, and that sounds good to me, so let's get half fangs right out and bite some cows because I understand that's what you feed the dinosaurs and then when we're hungry we can go and eat some more that's right I am for us give me your brontosaurus we can have some really good meat and later on I'll show you my little best feet okay you can eat one dinosaur just the one with the, the big ass headdress mm. bad form <laughs> um okay we all know how much i love a, a fake out rhyme so ailish that was mm, <laughs> um and i want to declare as dracula every single day for the rest of my life it's time to get some more film characters for the second episode of plenty of flicks diving into the comments here we go here we go here we go here we go the next one is sir hiss from robin hood who i assume oh is a snake God. from that yes. name long yes. time have seen that film and um, sir hiss and then sebastian from the little mermaid and then 
the final character for this one is oh go on let's do another jurassic park one alan grant i don't know which man that is we i only watched it recently the for the pardon the 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 me and did with the kids. main dude the one that dresses in chinos mm-hmm. yeah. or panama mr panama doesn't matter <laughs> attenborough uh, yeah is that right no. no okay doesn't matter one of them, <laughs> one of them. main dinosaur guy um, magazine not like the him. jurassic park person okay <laughs> um who would like to be sir here's from robin hood uh holly um i will do <laughs> sebastian <laughs> we're on the little mermaid and then ashling and uh, that means we're vying for your attention so mm. sir here's sebastian vying for the attention of alan grant from jurassic park in the second episode of plenty of flicks I was all about those dinosaurs, but lately I've been wanting more. Ever since I hung with those kids, I've been really using my wits. I think we should get together. Think about those dinosaurs covered in feathers. Yes, I know that might seem loose, but I'm just dropping some dinosaur truth. Yes, I know I'm a theosaurus, but let me be your brachiosaurus. Yes, I could make you feel so fine. Maybe be one of those that has a spine. Yes, I know, got the horn. No, that's not what I mean. I've sworn to do only really good when I said that I wasn't being and rude. I meant I was a dino with some strength. You know those ones with tail that has such length? Yes, I want to find someone my love. Can you help me someone from above? I don't care if you're really tall or like those dinos that are really small. I just want you to keep me up at night. I want somebody with some bite. Hello, sir. Good evening, nice to meet you. I'm Sir Hiss, it's great to greet you. I'm used to looking after a sire, but I think I could bring you higher. Oh, would you like to partake? I don't need trousers to show you a snake. Oh, I could be great, cause I'm a friggin' vertebrate. Yes, I'm pretty much just all back. I can take you. Forward. How's that? I'm going to be your lover. Yes, I'll be like no other. You can come and examine me. You don't need a number two or three. We could be together no matter the weather. Yes, that's right. Together we'd be a bet. Oh, well, let's see, shall we? It sounds to me you're feeling frustration. Perhaps you just need a crustacean. Come with me down where it's better. Yeah, that's right, in the water that's wetter. Look, come, come, come with me. We could be together right under the sea. I know you're used to the main feature, but hey, I'm also a creature. And now don't get sore. I'm pretty sure that I'm better than a dinosaur. Yeah, that's right, because I'm real. And I said it, yeah, that's how I feel. Now, I may be animated and that might make you feel frustrated. But I'm pretty sure that what I feel is real. And come with me. Um, you won't need a seal, that's for sure. You'll just need me for the rest of your life. <laughs> you see, I don't think Sebastian understands. You and me, we live on land. He's not where you want to be because he literally is obsessed with living under the sea. Oh, come, we could transpire. Come on, I've already said I may be low, but I'll bring you higher. We could be together. Yes, no matter the weather, you and me, a snake and man, we can do it. I know we can. Together, we only need two legs. Come and be with me. I'm not going to beg. I can look after you. I can. I'll be the snake to your wonderful man we can be so slithery with one human male and me a snake with scales come on you and me let's get slippery no listen 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 all we'll need right all we'll need all we'll need 
is just us. Look, he's a snake. He's probably poisonous, right? Look, that thing with his tongue. Look, look at him. It's so overdone. And what do you want the dregs? Surely you want a creature that has got legs. And look, this one's the clincher. I've even got mother flipping tiny pincers. Yeah, that's right. Just come with me. Be together. We'll be under the sea. And look, we'll have it made. I'm even friends with a mother flipping mermaid. And that is, I'm not done. I'm friends with King Triton. He's the king of the mother flipping sea. So come with me and we will be together forever. Hmm, interesting. Before I was feeling so alone, just hanging out with my dinosaur bone. Yes, I thought you looked kind of swell, hanging out in your crabby shell. But then you really got me saying dinosaurs were a fantasy. Hey, I think for what it's worth, are you one of those people that believe in flat earth? Yes, I think you're kind of vile. I like the look of this reptile. Yes, I think all love could begin. Maybe we could share some skin. Yes, I know I was paleontology, but now I'm about snake biology. Yes, you could really set me free, set me from this fantasy. Yes, I feel so alive. Maybe a man and a snake can thrive. Yes, I know it would be so great. I can't wait to get together with my snake. If we were in Harry Potter, we'd be in Slytherin. Oh. Boo. <laughs> uh, I mean, it was better than the pun I was about to say. I'll stop myself. I was say, oh, now I feel crabby. Uh, right, it's time for some scenes for which we need some locations and we need some characters. And for those, to get them, I'm going to dive into the comments. Dive in into the comments. So the first location is at a poker table, a high stakes poker table mm -hmm. and the uh the character for that scene is da 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 da, -da. oh one of the aliens from men in black very specific <laughs> one of the aliens from men in black who would like to play Ailish and Claire. And the scene begins like this. Um, I'm gonna go all in. Is that what humans normally do in this situation? Oh, 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 oh. Reggie, you're so funny. <laughs> you, you act like you've never seen a poker table before. <laughs> 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 yeah, God, I, I see him all the time, you know, like all humans do. And um, can I can I just ask you, Sophie, before I make this large human bet, is, would you say this is going well as first dates go? Is this <laughs> what normal humans do? Oh, Reggie, you know, I thought it was pretty weird that, that when you picked me up, instead of giving me a bunch of flowers, you gave me a bag full of gravel. But, you know, I can see past that. <laughs> Gravel's more useful. I don't understand why humans like flowers. They don't do anything and then they die. Gravel, you can build stuff. Oh, oh you're, you're completely right. And you know, I really feel like you and I could, could really build a future together because, you know, we've been seeing each other for a while now. And, well, I think it's probably time that we took things to the next level. Oh, kind of a bit like making this bet. See? I'm really getting the hang of all this human stuff. Yeah. So, if we've been dating for, you know, two weeks, that's about normal, right? In human terms, for me to then ask you to, you know, take things to the next, next level? Yeah, but you know, you always have such a, a funny way of putting things, you know? You say it's two weeks, but to me, it feels like I've known you for a really long time. Sometimes I feel like you're actually in my mind, making me think certain things and, and say certain things. So, you know, huh. I feel like we've been together so much longer. <laughs> <laughs> yes, like a normal human dating man would. 
God, you guys really go all in for commitment on this planet, don't you? Well, I just want to ask you then, as I put all my cards on the table, I'm going to metaphorically put all my cards on your table and say, will you marry me? Oh, 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 Reggie, Reggie, this is so out of the blue, except it's almost like I had a feeling you might say that anyway. I don't know why it just popped into my head. You know what? I think we should do that. I think we should have little Reggie and Sophie, because that's my name, right? Babies, as soon as possible. Um, um, uh, um, that says just to check that's not going to be a deal breaker or anything. Um, if maybe we, we maybe adopt or something. Thing instead, is that? No, 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 no. We're gonna um, have babies. That's exactly oh, what we're okay. gonna do. You know, we'll get married and then we'll get start working at it as soon as possible. I want lots. I want a football team's worth. Um. Oh. Oh. Geez. Okay. Um. Cool. Um. And just to check, you don't have any other deal breakers, like you know, if if there were some unexpected tentacles. Um. You still love me, right? Oh well, you know. Never actually been with a man before, so whatever you've got hiding down there, I'm fine with. <laughs> oh, cool. Yeah, no, I've got the only stuff that normal human men have. We all have tentacles on our butts, all of us. Oh, and your butts? Oh, that, oh, that sounds amazing because, you know, um, uh, I've got webbed feet. <laughs> oh, that's weird. Uh, I'm not sure I'm into that. Well, lots of people have had webbed feet. It's, it's just a little bit of extra skin between the toes. <laughs> well, you know what? I've ne never felt so loved as I have with you. And, oh, would you look at that? I lost the poker game, but I think, I think I've gained so much more. And you've it's won my heart today. <laughs> uh, there is a, yeah, gravel is a, a great gift. You're right, Dan. Solid. Yeah. <laughs> uh, solid, solid present. Um, that was hilarious. Okay, it's time for another scene for which we need another location and another film character. Dive in into the comments. Here we go. The character is Reagan from The Exorcist, and the location is in a in a oh at a murder mystery party. That's fantastic. <laughs> um, who would like to play? <laughs> and um. Uh, I will play with you, Ashley. Cool, great. And the scene begins like this. When do I get to kill people? You you realize it, it's it's um it doesn't happen until halfway through, right? You have to play the scene and play the game and then then the murder happens, and then you solve the murder, and it's not real. You do know that, right? Why can't I do it now? Why can't I do it now, Mom? Oh, sweetie. <laughs> because you have to follow the rules. That's what controls the fun, Reagan. <laughs> Maybe sometimes you don't need to follow the rules, Mom. Have you ever thought about that? What? Your whole life, you've been following rules. And where's that got you? Oh, no, sweetie, it's important to follow the rules because, as I say, the rules control the fun. And you can only then break the rules once you've followed the rules. And you've never followed any rules, so uh, you can't be breaking any of them until you've learned how to follow them, sweetie. <laughs> Did rules <laughs> stop Dad from leaving us? So sorry, I didn't hear what you said because you made me jump so much. <laughs> Did the rule stop Dad from leaving us? No, Mom. You followed by the rules. You made dinner every night at seven minutes to six. You always gave him turkey twizzlers on a Thursday. That's... But did that stop him from leaving you? Um, no. 
You know, it did. Oh, I really wish you wouldn't turn your head around like that, sweetie. I've, I've told you it's not what normal children do, and we're very normal here. <laughs> normal people. Normal children, you know what they do. They do college just for the sake of it, because people tell them they should go to college when maybe they want to be a carpenter or a plumber. Sometimes normal isn't good, Mom. Of, of, of course it is. Of course normal is good. Look at me. Look at me, sweetie. I'm perfectly normal, and I'm perfectly fine, and I'm perfectly happy in my life, and you should be too. evening to you. It is me, Professor Plumkin. Just being a normal English gent, following all the rules of a murder mystery. Oh, look at that man, Mom. Yes. He's trying to follow the rules of life. And you know what the life has made him do? Marry a woman when he's actually gay. <gasps> Hello, there. Hello there. It's uh, Mr. I'm wearing spectacles, just uh, carrying my, my book and just uh, waiting for something to happen. Uh, waiting for life to begin around me. Look, that man has been following the rules, the rules of not standing out too much, and that stopped him from his dream of freeing pigs. Freeing yeah. pigs. Oh, and you know How what? did she know? I read it in my novel. I'm so, so delighted to be here with you all. It's me, Miss Scarlet. And you know what? I'm just here to get drunk at the bar. I do it. It's normal. And then everything goes according to plan, right? Look at Scarlet. She hates herself. She takes a selfie every 15 minutes and puts it on a special filter. What? When all she wants to do is be a tough mother but she thinks that people might think she looks bad covered in mud. Good evening, I'm Reverend Green, and doing murder mysteries is the only thing that makes me feel alive. But then again, that's normality, right? Look at Reverend Green. Reverend Green joined the church because Reverend Green was the youngest and dumbest of the sons. So the only way he could bring respectability to the family wasn't being a doctor, but being a reverend. The reverend it's true. doesn't even believe in God. It's true. <sighs> believe in God, but that's one of the rules of being a reverend. I'm Mom. sorry. <laughs> Mom, I might be the one that people are trying to say I'm possessed, but the thing is, all I am is possessed with individuality. It's true. She's made me realize who I am. I've been marrying and unmarrying women my entire life, and what can I say? I've been hiding who I really am. I spent my whole life holding and reading books and standing around waiting for life to begin, but all I want to do is release these pigs because I'm a vegan. <sighs> I've spent all my life getting drunk and getting together with unsuitable men in bow ties, and you know what? I want to go out training and do a boot camp. <sighs> oh, oh. And I spent my whole life just trying to be a good reverence and it turns out I don't actually believe in God and I'd really just love a night out clubbing. I didn't realize everybody was so unhappy following the rules. Mom, yes, why don't you do what you really want to do with that fork? Um, oh. Do it. There is no Jesus to judge you. Oh, fuck you, Jesus! Lollipops in hell, Mom! <laughs> Mom, I'm so sorry if you're watching. I'm solid acting there. Mommy, I'm sorry. Oh. We're just in the moment. Character. Oh, sorry. Okay, right. <laughs> what time? What time are we on? <laughs> it is, it is coming. Let's do some rapping to finish off with. Let's 
palate cleanse, palate cleanse. Okay, it's time for some film suggestions for um, some wrapping. So I'm just gonna dive into the comments. Um, Bill and Ted. Bill and Ted's excellent adventure. Who would like to rap about that? Claire! <laughs> <laughs> you know, some people said my youth misspent, but really things are just excellent. I'm having a great time with my pal, yeah. We are the What's Alien, and we're gonna have some real good rhymes when we go back in time. Oh my God, the fun don't stop. Let's all get in this police box. Well, hang on, I think it's got a phone. I wonder if it'll ever take me home. I don't mind wherever we go. I hope we don't need death, though. Oh no, that's right, that's the bogus journey. And that here, here we're learning all about how to be real cool because let's face it we're no good at school but it doesn't matter because we choose it we're just gonna get by with music it doesn't matter come near or far just strum on your epic guitar uh, amazing <laughs> Uh, let's get another film from the comments. Notting Hill. Hello. Yes. Oh, let me get get my little bop. There we go. <clears throat> Nothing this film really can't do because it stars Hugh Grant though, and it's really really fun. It's one of the best films under the son. He's just the normal guy living his normal life. Doesn't even think that he wants a wife. And then one day, when he's selling some books, a girl comes in and gives him some looks. And before you know it, they've fallen in love. And it gives him a shove. And he realises what he really wants. Realises what he really should do. And it's something really, really new. And for Julia Roberts too. Oh my God, it's such a mind melt. <laughs> Watching my brain exploding in real time. <laughs> yes. uh, let's, let's, <laughs> let's do one more. Let's do oh. one more. And that one is Heathers. Emma, amazing. Um. Ah. While I get my bop together. Technology. Yes, I don't want to be an instigator, but this film, it stars a uh, Christian Slater looking really moody in a corner over there. And I'm a noted writer, I don't give a care. Yeah, everyone, this film's not really okay because they spend their whole time playing croquet. Yeah, yeah, what's whatever the weather. Oh my God, seriously, come on, Heather. Yeah, because, yeah, they really rule this world. This film came out before me, girls. Yeah, yeah, it was out in the 80s and all of these, yeah, sing. Single ladies, we're gonna team up and rule this school. We're gonna kill them all and be so cool, yeah, yeah. We're gonna rule it all. We're gonna make all of them feel so small. Amazing. I've never seen the Heathers and now I want to watch it because of that. It's just like that. Amazing. It's great. <laughs> uh, thank you so much, everybody at home, for watching another Notflix DVD extras. This week being episode 14. Can you believe it? Um, but if you cannot wait until next week, there are other ways that you can be part of the Notflix gang during the week. Aren't there, Holly Mallet? Yeah, so every single Wednesday of lockdown, we have been doing a thing called Notflix Film Club, hashtag Not Film Club. And this Wednesday, we will be pressing play on a secret film, which we will announce tomorrow. We press play at 7.30pm on a Wednesday.
British time. And then we go on Twitter and we just tweet about it. I set lots of fun tasks and improv fun. We all dress up as like characters in the world. And uh, it's just a jolly good time using the hashtag not film club. It's totally free. You can join in with us. You can play games. We've got a great little community and it's just the highlight of the week apart from Mondays, of course. <laughs> It is. And um, uh, actually, um, I was just looking through my pictures and um, I was quite pleased because I did some, uh, so I've been doing these like cur creation things for a uh, film club and I did some a couple of weeks ago and I feel like I might be able to use them again. Um, I don't know if you can see oh. that. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, yeah. Also, I'm going to go to the shop afterwards. Is there anybody want anything? Mm. No? You all right? Have a think about it. Great, cool, awesome. Um, anyway, um, that's just by the by. Um, we will be back here on Facebook at seven o'clock on Monday. And if you're wondering about any of the other ways to get in touch with us, we have a little video pinned on our page that's got all of the information about everything that we've been doing during lockdown. We are at WFTC Improv on Instagram, on Twitter. Here on Facebook, we are at Netflix Improv Musical. Click on the bell, you'll be notified when we go live next week at seven o'clock on Facebook. So until then, remember everything is better as a musical. Goodbye!